So we talk about all the time, all these anomalies in business, right? And our, our schedule is just a total wreck right now because we went to start a job two weeks ago, got the equipment up there. You guys have heard all this BS about James River and John Deere and all this stuff. We're having problems with this equipment. I've paid $46,000 for my John Deere 210 to be fixed. Uh, multiple times they've come to fix it. Multiple times it's been out there shop to fix it. Uh, we brought it out again to go to work and guess what again we have more problems with it these guys have literally fixed everything from the fuel tank all the way to the injector every single part in the fuel system they've replaced because they just throw parts at it we get it to the job same exact problem fuel it fuel issue call this the, the the head guy that's over everybody works from home doesn't even go in to job anymore and and all he does is diagnose over the phone tells us it needs fuel injectors. I said, well, 600 hours ago, you guys just put fuel injectors on this machine. Uh, he said, well, maybe they were installed incorrectly. I said, well, we put 600 hours on it. You think if it was an install problem, they'd all of a sudden just go out? Long story short, the lift pump went bad on it. We had an in-house mechanic went up there, took a couple days to get it fixed uh, because we were trying to go the right route and let John Deere tell us what to do with it. And they, of course, wanted to just continue throwing parts at it and we didn't want to do that. So long story short, we put a lift pump on it, the machine's running perfect now, so now we're working crazy hours to try to get caught back up on our schedule. I haven't got rid of it yet? Yeah. Well, because number one, replacement costs are ridiculous right now. So we're gonna run these things until they have to be replaced, and then we're gonna look for a different kind of replacement. So if we go to sell something right now, the equipment that we have, things are not selling really well right now. So we're not gonna list them and then just lose our butts on them so we're gonna run these things we're gonna keep maintaining them until there's just no more life left in them as we uh, replace equipment we're gonna replace them with something other than John Deere I don't care if John Deere was having a free come and get piece of equipment giveaway we're not wasting our fuel to go pick up another John Deere piece of equipment um, we don't know exactly what we're looking to get by next but it's definitely not gonna be John Deere doing the job in West Jefferson because it's for a contractor that we are regularly working for now uh, it's a little bit outside of his service area, very far outside of our service area. It's two hours from our home site here, uh, but we want to take care of our, our contractors that take care of us. So we're going up there. It's a total site prep. So uh, land clearing, septic, uh, it is a basement. So we're doing the basement cut. We're using dirt from that large 10 foot cut uh, to fill in a big ravine up there that we're going to cross for the new driveway. Right now we're having to access the property through not even an easement through somebody else's property so we're going to put in a new road to the house uh, this guy's bought several lots up there and put them all together he's building a, a 70 by 50 square foot house at the top of there got a really nice river view on the back side of it uh, so right now there's no views it's all pretty dormant uh, so we hope to go in and clean it up and make it look real nice where you been Man. You didn't come straight here. Dude, I, dude, I had to go all the way back to the lake. Where were you? I don't see how this took so long. Dude, it's two hours. It's an hour and 45. I thought you was at the shop when you called me. I was. Well, I was still in Wilkesboro, and I was in Wilkesboro for another 20 minutes after dude. that. And then I had to drive all the way from Wilkesboro to here. Dude, when I say I'll be there, you better add an hour to it. Paul had a flat. I had to pull over, too. Shit. I heard a loud pop, but I think it transfer tank. I know it's one of these when I put it on on the suction side, right here or something, right there. Are you doing too much? No. Take this off. I'm going to take, change this thing over here. Hey, how much was that lift pump? $1,252. Could have had a nice fast. It could have had a nice fast, yeah. I would have just put a fucking, you know, like a auto zone lift pump on it if this so much didn't run off 24 volts. I couldn't find a 24 volt lift pump. <laughs> if this don't fix this, it's fucked. No, dude, you're missing. Look, look, look. Oh, we're gonna take the whole thing off? They would not sell us just this. I swear on my life, they wouldn't sell us just this. They. I, this is like ten dollars. <laughs> I, I found them online for 150 bucks, but they would not sell us that. They said that's not how they do it. No, they really are a bunch of idiots. And when you take this line off right here, yeah, it's gonna pour fuel. You'll have to hold it off or something. But then when we cut it, we're going to, I got some snips and we're going to we'll cut this and put that filter in it. And I was wondering if we didn't have a way to pinch that line. But you could maybe pinch them with those while I cut it. I, mean, look, I might have something, I don't know. If we have pliers, we can take pliers and tie the wire around it. Pulled up, he's like, 
y'all about fixing to start cutting that road in? And I was like, yeah, I think they're getting close to it. I was like, this machine's acting up. I was working on this machine today. He's like, and he's like, well, do, uh, do you know where they're going to cut the road in at? And I said, I said, who are you? And he says, I'm the president of the HOA. And I was like, buddy, I don't know nothing about nothing. I'm just up here mechanicing on this thing. This little valve's a little bastard to change. <laughs> they looked it up, because you know on our account we got this thing on there. They got the VIN number. They look it up, they sell me this. 500 bucks. And I gotta put it on, you know, it looks identical. Bolts right up. Alright, but I done got it plugged up. But you see how this thing's got tabs right there? Yeah. The other one's got tabs lower and a tab on the bottom. And so the connector wouldn't work. And so um, I had a pocket, or I had a razor blade with me. And I sat there and trimmed the connector until I could get it to work good enough. And it still didn't work good. I had to take that wire I had and tie the connector on so it wouldn't fall off. It seemed to work. So I was trying to find a connector for it. I was there for like an hour a day trying to find a connector. And it took them like 45 minutes before they realized they sold me the wrong part. And then I was like, well, can you just sell me a connector for this one? He's like, no, we can't do that because the, the he said, we can't do that because those parts are different. I was like, I was like, the connector's different. I was like, it's a fucking solenoid with a little valve in it. I was like, yeah. it's still gonna, you're gonna send power to it. It's gonna work either way. And he's like, well, that's not the way we do things around here, blah, blah, blah. And that. I, was like, I was like, well, do you have another one? You know, the right one for me? He's like, no, only Charlotte's got it. And they sent me a return, or they gave me a return label. And if I want to return this one, they'll send me the right one. Honestly, I said we just return that one and said, fuck them. Let's just return the whole machine. Y'all have this thing back. Main return hose. Yep. I, you know how I got the so much up the hill? I took this other end of the hose off and I stuck an extension in it and put a clamp on it. So it was forcing it to hold all its fuel in here instead of returning it back to the tank. And it got so high pressure it burst the hole and started squirting fuel. Oh, the pump's exploded and there's some bits of metal in there. Really? Yeah. That would make sense why I didn't get no fuel. Yeah. We rented a skid steer one time. Or it might have been John's skid steer years ago. And it had a whole piece of straw up in the fuel system. Come out and they pulled all the fuel stuff off of it on a job. And they pulled it out of there and he had a piece about this long in the fuel system. We need to make sure we get all that dirt. Don't let no dirt fall down on them things. Don't just wipe it in the hole either. Well, honestly, it might not be dumb to take that one apart and check them things out. And you're going to have to have this thing pretty high to get it. You can get that count way over there. Huh? You're going to have to have this thing, I mean, you can just sit straight up. Get that count way up on there. Put the bucket on top of the dozer to get a little more, you know? Get it on the top of the dozer blade and lean against the dozer, and we raise it up, and then we tilt the 210 back. I think that stuff that was clogged up was on the other side of the filter. Then he asked me if I wanted to dig in bush holes. And I was like, let them yeah, do it. I don't want to dig no holes. He smiled. At the shop? Yeah. Man, I hate that little piddle shit. We bought both of our track hoses new. And we, we put about 3,500 hours on them and we'll sell them. And that main couple in between the hydraulic pump and the motor, it went out like 3,000 hours. And uh, I think I ripped off a couple of hoses here and there. <laughs> Other yeah. than that, dude, we legit not had no trouble out of the machines. How much of a down payment do they require you to put on something like that? Uh, I don't know. Dad, he just paid bottom right out. But, uh, Damn, your dad's got it like that. <laughs> what would 20% of 100000 be? Did you tell me? I don't know. You think on that real hard and let me know. It'd be 20. It'd be 20 grand. Yeah. What do, you, what do you sell them after? Hey, you can get your money back out of them. Yeah. That first one we bought, it had... It had 14 hours on it. We bought it in 2014, the 13 model. I think they got it for 43,000, 45. We put 3,500 on that machine. We got our money back out of it. Did you turn it on? Yeah. Turn it off and back on. All right. Well, hell, the pump ain't coming on. Turn the key on. It, that pump won't work without that one thing plugged up. You know that one thing? That little thing. I just plugged it up and let it hang. What do you think it is? Like a water sensor? When it finally started running bad on me, coming back up the hill right here, yeah. and it started running bad, and I got back here and started um, ripping everything apart. And I pull that hose off, and the pump's running. I pull that hose off, and it's just just trickling fuel. I take this hose off, and there's more, there's way more fuel coming out of this thing on the gravity side than it is pumping out. So what this air conditioning thing to fix it today? <laughs> Fix the counterweight thing first. We can't work in these conditions. I'm telling you, 
telling you, look, I think we take this machine down there, and I think if we use this machine to scoot the counterweight over by the blade of the dozer, and we find a nice little hill down there, and if you can tilt the machine like uphill as far back as you could, and then we try to use the dozer and try pushing it all, we might get it all there. Yeah. Yeah. I think we can figure that out. Y'all will be so proud of it. We get it on there, maybe he will be so mad if we don't come in Monday. <laughs> Alright, let's take this hose off. Take it loose right there and I'll crawl up in there and loosen it. Try pulling on it. Well, you know how your side's like hard rubber? Yeah. Mine's very soft rubber. So it's got to change switch somewhere. Here, uh, wiggle that hose. Oh, let me get back up top and open the hood. Wiggle it. I don't see no clamps on it for a while. I'm no, no, it's, it's, I see it. It goes into a hole up here. I might be able to take these two off right here and then pull it. Do you think it's... Uh, here, try pulling on it. Just pulling it right now. All right, no. So you're good on your end. It's somewhere... Couldn't be an easy hose. Mm -mm. Go underneath the machine. Yeah. Like right there where you're at. Yeah. And go all the way up to like where the, you know, the pivot is. Yeah. All right, do you see any? Like look right above you. Is there anything right above you? It runs into a hole down here. Is this it? Yeah, that's it. Where does it go? It goes over here on the other side. Let's take one of these hoses off to see what kinds of fluid comes out of this thing. I thought it was a transmission cooler or something. I didn't think it was a fuel cooler. Oh, let me take off this one bracket and see if this one bracket can do it. As long as it keeps running with it, as long as it's plugged, I think it's fixed. All right, we'll start walking it down there and I'll be down there. Why can't you use the dozer and push it all the way over there? I don't know. You're gonna have to tilt the That's what I was thinking. Just to get a little more out of it. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll just ride the dozer up the hill and carry the chains back. Man, this sucks I don't have an eyelet. I knew it wasn't going to be easy. That one side might be easier. Got right about level out there. Maybe that'll be enough to like to pick this thing up. Where the blade goes up, that it's that it's going to hang. Let's see how high it picks it up. You can about just, if you just get it off the ground about a foot, it'll go right on there. close the bolts are. You want to pull forward a little bit and I'll push it forward a little bit? Yeah. Let me just get the dozer and that's what we'll do. We'll just pull forward together. We ain't got that breaker bar. I don't think it'll fall off now it's sitting on there. No. It, it needs to be scooted your way. How can we do that? Go back up. I'll back up to my tractor touching. Cock it just a little bit and you can catch it corner with the blade. And I'll get under here and line it up. Alright. Come 
Oh, yeah, that was easier. Well, let's, oh. let's, uh, move by two. Dude, look at your little free screen. It's like a full rose. Is it really? Yeah. So this thing will have to have a tank. Yeah. That's some big chunks. See, that's why I wanted to put that on there to see. Let's try tightening these bolts a little more. Just break the chain. You need to get in the machine, turn the machine clockwise, all right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Bring the ass in this way, just a little bit. And then, when you do that, make slack in it, you need to go back so we have this right there. All right? What? What you'll do with this right here? Make it right here. You need to turn the machine clockwise, yeah. and then you need to back up one track pad. Do a little work. Man, I'm going to for it. Man, you don't want to rip some trees down? They, the DK comes down here, blocks the road, and still didn't take his tree stand down. I'm pulling that up and put it in the middle of the Oh, is, is that tree supposed to come down? Yeah. Let's just take it down. The house is 100 foot that way, and off that stake. What more are you clearing? All that in there, and all these trees right here. Well, look, you want to work a little bit? A little bit. What if we, just to make sure this machine's 100% perfect? We work and make sure that little dongle thing won't fuck with us. It's uh, 4.45, how about we work until 5.30? All right. What can I do with the dozer? Uh, I guess start stripping around that, that burn pile there. We start burning it, All right, push the burn pile in on itself a little bit. Yeah. Where'd you get that? A uh, rice. What size is that? Three eighths. Three eighths. She's running damn good though. She ain't run this kid in a long time. Yeah. Long time. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's get out of here. 